And we are back. Thanks for staying with us right here on the couch. Is a renowned film director. He's also an editor, and um, he's also been involved in a few movie post productions. And of course, uh, we're talking about movies like uh, Malaika, The Figurine, Ijakumo, and a host of other movies. You are welcome to the show. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for being here with us. Yeah. Now, Malaika is one of the most talked about Nollywood movies right now in the cinema and I mean the movie premiere was um, over the weekend yeah and uh, it was it was quite a huge turnout of people coming out to um, you know to support the movie and of course it was produced by um, Tui Abraham now let's talk about the um, entirety of the movie from the pre-production to the production and the post-production which you were involved in um, I know that this is not the first film project that you've been involved with, Toing Abraham. You were also involved with um, Ijakumo, which yeah. was, you know, a few months ago. Um, but talk to us about, you know, being, your interest in being involved in this project. Thank you very much. Um, Toing actually is somebody I've seen from afar. And uh, I'm like, okay, what is really wrong with production? Because her stories are very good. Mm. And... Uh, with the experience I've had in the industry, close to 30 years of experience, I knew that, look, sometimes it's not about the story that is the problem. It might be just the way you put things together mm. and uh, we get things done. So we, we decided to work together on Ijakumo okay. for a test run and then everything changed. People loved the film and it was a breath of fresh air for Tony Abrams production. And immediately after that, we jumped into pre-production for Malaika. Okay. Malaika is a very, very uh, emotional story. It is. Yes. And uh, it's more very personal to Tui. Yeah. And uh, from there, we've gone into uh, trying to get the story properly told. told. And doing all those processes. It took us time to get our scripts together get everything we needed and then it became an issue when we wanted to cast. Let's talk to us about the casting process. I mean, you had to call back one of the <laughs> veterans in the industry, Emeka Ike. He was involved in the production. He's, he was also a lead cast of the movie. Yes. I'm so curious. Talk to <laughs> us about the casting of it. All right. Now, see, um, the, when we started casting, there were so many options. Okay. So he is a very spontaneous human being. Okay. She's very intuitive. And I would not lie, she insisted that I want a Mecca Ike. Why? That is a question for Tony to answer okay. because I could not unravel that. Now we, we started juggling ideas and I'm like, hey, this character needs to be like this, like this, like this, from a director's point of view. Mm. And then... Of course, I've worked with Emeka in the past before, but okay. he has been out of the scene for a for while. a while. Yeah, and I could see him in that role, but somebody you've not seen in a long while, mm. you wouldn't would know. Would he be able to carry out that character well? Nonetheless, she insisted. All kudos to her, she was right. Immediately, we had Emeka reading the script. He was excited. Mm. He had his own interpretation of the character and everything. And lo and behold, most of the things he did on the set were actually him, himself, mm. jumping into the character fully. The manly cry, the emotional outburst, the subtleness of giving us that emotion of somebody who is really traumatized. You know, there's a way a man reacts when you're traumatized and the way a woman mm -hmm. will react. Mm. Emeka brought it to life. And I was presently... Impressed. Impressed about that. So the casting, like I said, especially on that. And then we had a surprise. Uh, our guest star, of course, you must have seen it in the trailers. That's Anne Kasime. Mm. Anne Kasime from Uganda. Anne Kasime had never done a film as big as this. Mm. She's more used to her type of film. And uh, the minute she got to set, she was like, hey, can I really do this or that? I'm yeah. like, hey, calm down, you can because this role were tailored to you. Mm. But nonetheless, you still have to give us some of the beat we really wanted. Okay. You are supposed to be a solace, a best friend and all that, and not just the comedy beat. Mm. And she performed, she performed so well. So I would 
stop on that for cast. Probably okay. we will talk about the other cast maybe when we jump to the next questions. Let's talk about, there's, there's been this ongoing debate about, you know, directors bringing out the best in their actors. They say a good actor is dependent on the director. What do you think? Do you think it is the role of the director to bring out the best in the actor in terms of interpretation of roles and character? And in this, I mean, you, 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 you sort of, you mentioned, you know, have, bring, using the case of Emekaike here, you talked about how, you know, you, at first you had your concerns, you had your fears, but, you know, with his experience as a veteran and your experience as a director, you both worked well together. But it may not be the case in you know, other actors that you may have experienced. So I would like to hear your take on that. Now, as a director, the first thing you need to understand is that you are like a teacher. Mm. Most of the result of your students is partly theirs and partly yours. Okay. Now, the, uh, the saying that, oh, is this the director that would determine, I would not totally agree with it. Okay. I use the word totally because truly, sometimes some directors would not even understand how to interpret each character. Is that possible? It is. Okay. Your own interpretation of sorrow might be different from my own interpretation mm. of sorrow. Mm. Mm. Okay. You understand? I made mention of the fact that when he gave a manly cry, a woman might get up to the extent of wailing when they have problems. Sure. A man will not get to that extent. Very true. So you understand? So some directors will not understand how to interpret that. Malika is so sensitive that if we overdo it, you will miss the point. And if you underdo it, you will not even get the point. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people that are going through trauma, if you want to interpret it on the screen, you should not exaggerate it. You should get an actor that can easily fall into that mood and still deliver the lines. Prepping your actors to get into character is the ultimate aim of a director. Okay. Now, where you now choose your A-list actor is actors that will get in faster. Rather you spending so much time and doing different cuts and different takes just for you to get, get what you best, want. Yes. And it could be tiring. Mm. He's not the only person on set. Exactly. If he's the one failing, then mm. everybody is frustrated. Exactly. That is why I give kudos to the actors too. But yes, the, the director have uh, a major role to play in interpreting the role to them and making sure they can deliver the character. Have you ever been faced with an actor who found it very difficult to get their lights fixed? <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a... Uh, you know this feeling, this butterfly feeling in you when you're doing something for the first time and yeah, all that? Yeah. Some people are actually seasoned actors, but when they get in front... Of the camera. Not just the camera. Okay. An intimidating actor. Oh, director, you mean? No, uh, you're talking about a character yes. that is having difficulties in exactly, delivering. Exactly, getting here. Some of these actors that get into this situation, I have discovered that when they get in front of a more prominent or intimidating actor, okay. everything leaves oh, them. Oh, oh, okay. Now, you need to study that mm. and know that. Because we do, we do table reading and everything, so I would know you're good enough to be on my set before I bring you on set. Okay. So if you now get to the set and I see that, okay, you are intimidated, then it is my job to walk you through oh, okay. and make sure you are all oh, settled okay. in. Mm. You understand? So sometimes people don't understand that bit. It's not that the actor is not good. It's the fact that you, this person might be intimidated. Mm. You bring, imagine you sit down and suddenly a Denzel Washington walks in and you are supposed to act alongside Denzel. No matter what, you will shake a bit. Ishola Shobo Ali has that effect on people. Mm. But she's a mother, she will walk you through it. Mm. But before that time, you just swallow your lines, you start shaking, you're no longer yourself, and we have to calm you down. You are quite an empathetic um, director because not all of, not every director has that patience. So come and do your line and get your money and leave here. If, if you but, do that, you're going to lose your story because uh, people know when you are fake. Ah, oh, okay. You just okay. cry and you have your tears all over, but they know you are not crying. Mm. Mm. If you watch Tony Abraham in Malaika, you yeah. will cry because she was crying for real. Mm. Our new baby, which is the cast I didn't want to talk about, Abika Sugar, she played a very major role in okay. the film. 
It got to a stage that we could not stop her. She was crying for real because she got the it's, message. Yeah. And she got into that character and she could relate it with her life and she started crying. Right. It worked for us at the beginning, but we had but to stop, stop shoot yeah. and Get keep her, her calm. Yeah. So each story and each delivery for each actor takes a different toll with the help of the director mm -hmm. and the way the story is told. Thank you so much, Steve. This has been a very insightful conversation. You know, also taking us into the world of, you know, a director, you. you know, and that relationship between the director and the actor, because that's a very, very important and critical relationship in every movie set or every movie production. Thank you so thank much you for so being much. here. And thank you for, you know, also giving us tidbits about my like at the movie. I think it's a movie that everyone should go see in the cinema. Yeah.